In this episode, we're going to paint the side air ducts. You're watching the Kodak YouTube channel. Hey! Now, let's move over to our side vent and we've got these scratches here, deep scratches. So we need to clean this up ready to put a bit of filler in it. So I'm gonna use some 180, it'll take this clear and this polish off here and give us a good bonding there for our putty to go in. <laughs> wipe some thinners over here and it's not good paint whoever painted this so I'm gonna get stuck into this with some 180 and see if I can get a lot of this black off and see what's under there okay so I don't know what type of paint they've used but they haven't put primer or anything it's quite terrible. So we're gonna really have to take all that black paint off. But for now, let's put a bit of filler in here and then we can strip all this off later. So this little tin of fine filler I'm using can be used on plastic or on metal. So if you're going to buy a little bit of filler, just make sure you buy it for the right application that you're doing and I'm mixing this 20 parts of filler to one part of hardener. Mm -hmm. There we go all rubbed down so all we need to do is put some primer on that but we're going to prime the whole thing so we're not going to prime it yet but turned out nice and flat which is just great well it's not good weather this morning terrible rain it's been raining all night so we'll close the shutter down and we'll work inside the garage today wow oh, look at that If you're wondering about this damage here and here on my shutter, that's where my wife has reversed into it twice with the car. Oh my God. So here's the side vent that we repaired this yesterday. Now you see I've taken all the black off. I actually took it off with a brass wire wheel. So not too strong like steel because I just wasn't sure what the paint that was on it was. So now it's all off and we've got a good base. We'll wipe this all down with thinners before we start, but we'll put three coats of primer on it all and rub it back and we'll get a really nice finish now. Okay, okay, so we're all cleaned down. We've repaired all our dents and our big scratches and we're ready to put some primer on. I've also wiped them all down with thinners. So hopefully we won't get any flare up or silicon anywhere so let's get three coats of primer on everything now if you do repair I always put one extra coat on where I'm going to repair just to give us a little bit uh, you know a little bit better covering there when we rub it down to rub the scratches out so one coat on there and then we'll start putting three coats over everything
and make sure you let them dry in between coats. Okay, we're out sitting in the sun because we're gonna rub these down now. Now, yesterday we primed them all up. They look really good. There's no reaction. The primer looks great. Now this black you see on here is just called a guide coat. It's just a very light coat of black. And what it does, it goes into the scratches that are into the paint. So it looks like there's a few there I might be able to show you. As we rub it, you can see how far we have to rub it to get all those scratches out and smooth. Now today I'm rubbing with 600 grit. Look, there's, there's lots of people debate, oh, you shouldn't be doing it with 600, you should be doing it with 800. Oh no, 800, you should be doing it with finer, 1,000. 600 is fine enough. If you want to go finer, you can. But 600 is fine enough. So let me show you these scratches here, if any. Okay, I've just given it a very light rub. Now you can see here, there's a couple of lines, see there? So we know, we've, oh there's a few down here as well, I don't know if you can see. So we know we've got to rub this primer until we get all those marks out and then we've rubbed it enough. So let me show you a little bit more. Now I'm using a block Use a block when you can, it gets it flatter, you don't get finger marks. There's places where you can't use a block, you have to just rub very carefully. Okay, a little bit more. Just this on the edge here. Okay, you can see where the big scratch is gone. I've still got a little bit more to do here. So now I've got to rub these all down, exactly the same, get them all smooth. <laughs> I've rubbed them all down as you can see there's no scratches nothing they are beautiful there was a little bit of areas that I rubbed through on some of the edges I've just put a dust coat of primer on that edges but there's been no reaction to everything that's underneath beautiful and fine no scratches so they're ready to paint they're gonna look great okay we're ready to start painting the black. Let's go. Yeah, we'll just let that dry off for a few minutes and we'll put another coat on. starting to look nice now. One more coat and then we'll put the clear on it.
Okay, let's put a couple of coats of clear on it and we'll finish it off. And there you have it, all finished. You wouldn't even know we repaired it. I hope this helps. Thanks a lot. Always remember, drive like you know each other. And I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye. Thank you.